Hey man, can I borrow a five? What? I I left my wallet at home, and I don't feel like driving 20 minutes back and forth to uh, go back and get I, it. I can't, I can't. You can't spot me a five? Uh, no, I, I don't have a five. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, no, yeah, you don't have a five. No, I don't. I'm really sorry, I have to go now. You don't have to ask my permission, man. I, I know, I know, but I don't have one. I really have to go now. Please let me go. Roll the window down. Roll the window down, or I'm gonna do it for you. And the last thing you want is for the resale value in this baby to go down. That's it. See, we're making progress. Now, how about you give me your wallet and we'll see if you really have that five or not. Okay? Wallet. Wallet, please. Come on. Thank you. It's a cool wallet. Tom, we got a problem. What's your pen? What's your pen? Your pen number? Tell me what your pen is. Tom, we gotta go, come on. Unlock your doors. Unlock your doors now. Get in the car. Freaking deaf, I said drive. Put the car in drive! Hey, 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 easy. Okay. Do it like you normally would. Nice and gentle. There you go, see? We're making progress. What the hell are you doing? Masking my face. Why are you masking your face? There are only three of us in this car and we've all seen your face. I mean, you don't know what could happen. I mean, someone could see us or the police. And you don't think a guy with pantyhose on his head is gonna make them suspicious? Seriously, Hank, take it off. Don't say my name. I want that kid knowing who we are. Oh yeah? And it only makes sense for us to be on a first name basis. Shoot, give him my phone number. We can reconnect for brunch after this. Hey, buddy. 
Yo. Relax. What's your name? Bentley. That's quite the name. Did your parents name you after the car? I, I don't know. I'm sorry things had to go the way they did back there. See, I had made the silly mistake of thinking that you would have cash on you. When I mean, we both know that a young gentleman like yourself only carries a few cards. How about we start off on a better foot? My name, as you already know, is Tom. This here's Hank. We like to consider ourselves expressionists of the modern day. We're at this. Everything you saw back there was all in character. Hank and I just landed these huge roles in a film that very well may start off our career. Oh, you're gonna love it, Bentley. Me and Tom, we're gonna play these two bank robbers. We're gonna- Man, shut up, Hank! You're not supposed to disclose that information. Did you even read the contract? Who reads contracts anymore? That's what lawyers and agents are for. And who represents you, Hank? Your mother? Anyways, Bentley, you have nothing to worry about. Why is that? Well, because if you do what we say, we'll let you go. If I don't? Well, let's just hope you do. What's with the face, Bentley? Something bothering you? All right. All right, I get it. Yeah, you know, enough with the fun and games, Tom. Let's just get down to business. You know, I like that, that candor. That's a quality you don't see very often anyways. I'm sure at this point you're wondering where we're even going. Asher. Did I ask for your comments, Hank? I clearly wasn't talking to you. I can't ask questions anymore? I thought I was your partner. Yeah, as your partner, you're supposed to deduce what I'm planning. Clearly you're not savvy in the field of thinking. Clearly you're not savvy in the field of communication. What was that? Nothing. You know, I'm really sorry for his behavior. I don't mean for him to interrupt our process by being such a freaking moron. I guess for every mo, there's a Larry. In this case, he's more of a Curly, if you know what I mean. Anyways, where we're going is pretty simple. We're just gonna head down the road. Pull the car over. What? What are you doing? Pull the car over, Bentley. What are you I, doing? You have no right to tell him what- Pull the car over! Hank! Hank! Get out of the car. Get out of the- Get out of the car, come on. Hank, are you off your rocker? What the hell's gotten into you? What the hell's gotten into me? Why don't you catch yourself that, Tom? You're the genius after all. Quit waving that gun around. You're gonna cause suspicion. See, there you go talking about suspicion. First the painty holes, now the gun. I can't do anything right as a criminal, can I? Yeah, if you did, we'd both be dead, you moron. Don't call me a moron, you moron. Oh, great comeback. No, seriously, it was awesome. Wasn't it? You always put me down, Tom. Hank is an idiot. Hank is stupid. Hank's a retard. I agreed to help you out with this, but all you've been doing is BSing. Now I've had enough. And what are you gonna do about it, Hank? Cry? God, they should have cast you as Shannon. You have such a flair for the dramatic, after all. Look, I've had it. I'm done messing around. We have wasted too much time jumping through too many hoops today. And now we're losing more time because of you. So get your fat, ugly face back in the car. The only thing you're good at doing is nothing, dim-witted schmuck. Ah!
Oh my god, you shot him. You really shot him. Hank! 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 Help me move this body! Oh! Help! Help me now! Oh! Help! Over it's home. It's screwed, no, man. no, no, not yet. No, it's just again, prof. Yes, and just. All right, help me move this body. If you don't help me, I'm gonna shoot you myself. I think I'm gonna be sick. Don't throw up on me, Shatner. Just uh, pretend like you're lifting a crate. Since when do I ever lift crates? It feels mushy, Tom. Shut up. Come on. All right. I'm three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. This, is, this isn't that bad. I'm gonna open the trunk. Oh God, why me? Why you? Why me? I have to clean up after your freaking mess. Why do I have to be a stop? Look at him. Look at him. No, I'm looking at him. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get his feet. Hank, come on. Come on, get in the car. I didn't deserve this, man. Hank, come on. Hey, get in the this. car, man. Get in the car. Might be somebody's girlfriend prison. What are you doing? I'm hungry, Tom. Well, you can't eat that. We have to leave everything in this car exactly the way it was as when we got in. What does that matter? Let's get a mess up again and get thrown in prison. No. No, don't you give me that crap. No, you're the one that got us into this mess. Not me. Mm, not good old crafty Tom, no. I'm the one that has to get us out of it. Clean everything up. I don't even want to argue with you right now. Yeah, it's because you know you're wrong. Let's just hope this store has everything we need to clean all this up. Put it back to the way it was when we got in. With Bentley sitting in the front seat, ready to bring this coffee to some white collar named Richard.